It's time for your happy hour and a half. Live from the 5 Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live. Hey, that's right, everybody. Welcome to Twin Cities Live on this Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Leah McLean, you guys. Hello, everyone. Hey, Ben Lever. How I'm are you? Good. How are you good. doing? Good. Thanks for letting me come to the other studio on the other side of the hall. I know. It's a long walk. It, I you get know. so did many you get, steps Did you get in? lost? No. I a mean, little. It's like, you guys, it's like maybe eight steps. This studio is... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's tucked in the back corner a little. Yeah, yeah. Completely no, tucked yeah. in the back I'm just, I'm just playing. It's not that <laughs> far. It's just like on the other side of this wall that you guys can't see. But right. it does feel like a little bit of a different world over there. It really does. It's way more chill here. I feel like I need to kind of... Take a deep breath and just relax and say, okay, let's just hang out. You know, is, this is a weird feeling I have. When I yeah. ever walk into you guys' studio, whether you guys are doing a broadcast or not, uh -huh. even if it's empty, I feel like I'm walking into, like, the big arena. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. Not like, like a gladiator. Oh, I don't feel like a gladiator. But I feel like I'm walking like, whoa, this is the big time. Oh, I'm so impressed. Uh, it's funny because it's not that big of a studio. No, I think there's just like something very um, like official and professional yeah. about it. Not to say that our studio is not professional. It's just that this is like, wow, this is like, this is big time news. That must be when here. it's quiet and it's not during a commercial break when Paul Folger and I are cracking jokes and telling yeah. stupid stories. He loves to talk about ancient aliens with me. Have you heard him talk about this? No, but it's I want to. It's a show to. he loves. I love the show. I talk about this. Yeah, Do with the guy really? with the Greek name, with the, with the big hair. I don't watch I can't, it. I, just I can't. I can't say his it. actual name. I mean, I could stare at it for you know thirty minutes and I <laughs> wouldn't be able to pronounce it. But like, yes, I love that show. You guys are gonna have to connect on this. I know. He'll be delighted. I know. Okay, so <laughs> next time, next time when Elizabeth she's out spending time with her family right yeah. now. Next time uh, we have an opening, then I'm gonna have. We're gonna do like this, like. Guy co-host thing. Oh, We're going to talk about should. ancient aliens. I'll oh, you guys are going to love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. nothing like good, fun great. alien conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> They're like brighten up your afternoon. Uh, well, this afternoon we have an awesome show. It is all about food. I mean, I hope you brought your appetite here. I'm so excited for this. So Diane Mua, you guys know her, you love her. She has a new restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's called Diane's Place. And she's going to be here in studio with us. And we're going to figure out, like, what she's doing there, what all the buzz is all about. She's going to have some food for us, obviously some pastries. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And then we're going to head up to Anoka. Uh, there's a barbecue joint that we're going to get an update on. This one's called Jelly Bean and Julia's. We've talked about this before. Kristen has a, a really fun update on what's going on over at Jelly Bean and Julia's. And then, as if we didn't have enough food... Uh -huh. We are going to have a Twin Cities Live taste test. I can't wait for this. Right here, mm -hmm. right here at this very host chat coming up pretty soon. And it's okay. all Canadian based. Okay, so not that different necessarily. Mm. Oh. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I think I think you know things can get a little a little weird up there, even though it's not Ooh. very far away. Okay, I can't wait. I know. I'm down to try any of it. But the yeah. pastries, that's what I'm really excited about trying. Yes. Um, I can't wait for the pastries. Yeah. So speaking of Canada, uh, that is a whole other country. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't know, it's that's not what a they state. Say. It's not a state. It's a whole other country. Um, I hear that you were out of the country lately. I was, yeah. My husband and I went on a trip to Croatia, which was wonderful. Oh, yeah, we brought some pictures. So these are the famous steps in Old Town Dubrovnik in Croatia, which is right on the coast, a beautiful, beautiful city. And I'm reading, uh, there's my husband and I with a little uh, champagne on a boat tour. I mean, it was, it was really fantastic. As you must have some sort of champagne on a boat. I think so, I think so. Uh, the, the funny thing about the city is, for anybody who watched Game of Thrones, you may recognize this scene. This was the scene when um, Cersei had to do the walk of shame. She yes. was on those stairs. Oh, we have shame. it, oh my goodness, okay. Shame. Well, you can't show all of it because no, the shame is. No, you cannot show all of it. Mm -mm. Cersei gets naked shame. and has to walk naked through the streets. So even if you haven't watched the show, there you go, that's what it is. American tourists will go and get naked on those steps. Oh, they will? They will. So when I'm reading, you know, the tourist guides, like, hey, you have to go see this and go stop there, they're like, please keep your clothes on. Hey, guys in the booth, can we pull up a few <laughs> of those pictures? Can you just, like, go on through, like, social media and see if we... <laughs> I don't believe you. I need proof to see it. Um, so I can't believe people actually in public... Isn't that funny? ...will get naked just to take the picture of where We she did was. not, as you can no, see. I, We're all no, fully I think clothed most people, here and are most sensible people running around tennis shoes. But so I'm fascinated. <laughs> I watched that show as well. That's a beautiful shot. I didn't realize that Game of Thrones, I thought it was all like sort of up in like the Scotland area. So we looked into this going there. We're like, oh, where? I mean, that's not why we went to Croatia. But um, so that's King's Landing behind us. 
in again. For you who didn't watch Game of Thrones, uh, it's a lot. It's a fun show, but it's a lot. Um, they shot it in that old town that has walls all around it. That's Blackwater Bay. Here. Yeah. Um, but I, with that said, it's such a cool place, too. Even if you're not a fan of the show, it's just, it's this ancient walled city. It's right along the Adriatic Sea. Um, the blue water, I mean, you could see how just like blue and clear yeah, it's it was. It's like blue green. Water. And we were there just in March, which apparently is not busy season. If you go. Oh now or into the summer it's like crazy packed super busy yeah there we are traveling okay thank you mike for putting all the photos in. <laughs> he's, gonna go, he's gonna go through your whole photo yep. roll there it is yeah <laughs> next thing we need is that that selfie you know you take where you hit the timer and then it's yeah. like you take it too soon and it's just yep. your face in front yeah, of the you're camera just like blurred a little bit i'm glad we didn't add that one thanks thanks mike so when you guys when you guys <laughs> traveled to a place like croatia did you did you do like historical tours or is it more just like hey let's hit these fun restaurants like what is there to do and how, how much did you guys plan for yeah a little bit of both I guess so not a lot of planning you know yeah. between my husband and I we have five children so we are constantly running around from kid thing to kid thing we're here and so we sort of booked the tickets and said yeah we'll figure it out when we get there yeah and that's what we did so the funny and it thing worked is, out great I, I heard I heard a couple years ago that you know everybody wants to go to Italy and to Greece and all this other right. stuff somebody told me a while ago that the uh, the Italians and the Greeks, when they want to go on vacation, yep. they go to Croatia. Yes. That, and yes, that's the place for them European to, like, spot. yeah, mm -hmm. it's that beautiful. And a lot of influence, too, from, from Greece and Italy, because they're right across the Adriatic Sea. And, yeah, I'm not an expert, but right. yeah, how, I recommend it. How was, was the food? I mean, I, oh, I suppose it's just great. a melting pot of all that whole Mediterranean feel, but does it yeah. have its own sort of cuisine? It does, well, I, we ended up at a Bosnian restaurant, and lots of seafood, because it was right on the coast. So lots yeah. of seafood was the big thing. Yeah, we... <laughs> So I'm a cheapskate. I think we discussed this last time I was here. I'm totally a cheapskate. So we went to this restaurant and they had like the big, you know, the platter of all the seafood. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh no, that's, we can't get all the stuff. Let's do something smaller. And we're looking at the prices and it's like, oh, if you just ordered, you know, the fish, it would be the same amount at home to buy just the fish versus the whole seafood platter. Oh, right. Yeah, so the prices are pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, you know, great. When the dollar right. travels well, mm -hmm. that, is, mm -hmm. that is good. It is. Um, well, <laughs> here's another thing I learned that you taught me. Now, this is a domestic situation. Oh, oh this is funny. Uh -huh. I didn't realize that we have our kids' elementary concert, spring concert, spring concert. next week. I believe it's on Tuesday. So, so your son Wells and mm -hmm. my daughter Eloise are in the same fourth grade class together. <laughs> And the teacher sends out these weekly updates yeah. about, hey, look ahead to this is coming up, that's coming up, we're taking a test on this day. And there was a concert, and so in emailing you guys, I was like, oh, we could talk about the spring concert next week. Well, and, thanks for letting me know. Because and if Abby's I was, watching, he did throw you under the bus a little bit. I did not throw you under the bus. What are you doing? Uh, well, you said, she, you said Abby didn't put this on the calendar yet. Well, I was like, I was saying, like, <laughs> I, do, I don't know this, and if, uh, Great, if anybody would to put it on the, the calendar, show. it would have been Abby, and I don't see it on Tuesday. Tuesday, so she must have missed the email as well. I think there are more emails coming. Abby, I'm sorry. I'm Yeah, it'll be fine. We will we will like see you on Tuesday. So it was uh yeah, that was a little bit of like, oh, I guess we do have a thing next well, week. Well now I'm wondering if I have the date wrong. No, you probably you we probably should check you're in much Abby. more. I bet I'm, she knows I'm, exactly I'm kind of like is. focused on just today and then right. I'll look ahead later on. Uh, so speaking of all of this is taking place <laughs> in Edina, we have big news in Edina. It is the city for our next community for our Twin Cities Live in Your Town series. That is always presented by our friends with the DeRoche Realty Group and EXP Realty. So as you guys know, during the week of April 22nd, the whole week, we're going to be spotlighting businesses in Edina. And Leah, get this, along uh -huh. with Megan Newquist from 5 Eyewitness News, uh, they're going to be with us on that live broadcast on that Friday, April 26th. And you guys are going to be invited. It's taking place at the Hilltop. Woo -woo. Okay, it's one of the more popular places <laughs> in Edina. It's right off Highway 100 and Vernon Avenue. It is free to attend. There are no tickets necessary. However, it is kind of a smaller place. So seating is really going to be a premium. So first come, first serve, get there early. Uh, Hilltop will also have happy hour pricing plus half off dry rub chicken wings along with slices of carrot and chocolate cake. All oh right. my goodness. All those details are the events page of TwinCeasLive.com. I'm okay. excited for this one. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Taste test time? This is the taste test. Okay. All right, so we mentioned on, uh, on the show on Monday. Um, so get this. Our, our executive producer, yeah. Mike Marcotte, he, um, he's, you know, he's an adjudicator for, That's right. for uh, Guinness Book of World Record. He was in Niagara Falls on the Canadian side. Mike is so smart. I know. 
I know he this is. is so he's so super smart. So he was over there. He's done this, I guess, in yeah. the past. And he brought over some Canadian treats and snacks for us to try. Are we going to go through all of Mike's travel photos now? The, the, yeah, why don't we more, do that, right? Mike? I think we have 10 more. Yeah, let's go through. They had all, what was it, the most people dressed up like the sun? Yes. In, in Niagara Falls. How cool was that? Yeah. And they got the record, I They think. got the record. 309 yeah. people participated. Cool. Um, so, like I said, he, uh, he there he is <laughs> doing the official. Look how official he looks. He cleans up nicely with that With the tie and, tie and everything. He? Very sharp. On the Maid of the Mist. Uh, oh, that's Have you fun. ever done that? Have you ever been there? It's been a long time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You've yeah. done it? I've never done the Maid of the Mist. I've been there. I kind of did the whole, like, little yeah. thing that they have there and, and was right by the falls. But I never actually got on the boat. Okay. Yeah. You get soaked. Yeah. Well, apparently do. he also went to the grocery store for us. Is that right? Yes. So here's what we're going to okay. do, you guys. Roll the taste test. We have All an official right. Twin Cities Live taste test. So this first okay. one. This first one is Lay's All Dressed Chips. Which one is this? Oh, it's this well, one. Well, it's going to be this okay. one. Okay. So, are you familiar with All Dressed Chips? And can you say that other word that's there? I oh. cannot. Oh, it's a mit <laughs> You can't say ketchup? No, no, no. Ketchup? If you guys could go back to that. <laughs> oh. It was All Dressed, and it was like was. some French word. Oh. Oh, it's French. I don't speak French. Yeah. Yeah, I can't say it though. Whatever that is, I think it's all no, dressed. No, was it Parlez-vous Francais? <laughs> it looks like something like an assassin or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so this is a mix of ketchup, barbecue sauce, sour cream and onion, and salt and vinegar. I think I'm gonna like this. It's it's okay. like an every, a little one. It's it really is an everything chip. That's fantastic. You like it? You I like, love you it. Like you? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's crispy. It's crispy, think? and you guys. That's mm -hmm. a lot of flavors that don't necessarily overpower any other flavor. That's just good. It, it, you know what? It's actually kind of mild. I was expecting it to sort of be a smacky in the face flavor. It's really mild. Okay, this, okay. Feels, this feels like mm. a cheddar sour cream with a little bit of salt and vinegar. And yeah, probably yeah. The, the vinegar is actually kind of nice. Okay, okay, these are excellent. They're mm. excellent. You can actually buy these on Amazon. It'll cost you about 14 bucks. Oh, okay. It'll cost you $14. You know, if you're if you're daring and you got a little sure. extra walking around money, okay. you know, go ahead and get the uh, the Lay's all dressed chips. Uh, you ready? You ready for the second one? Okay, these are from oh, yes. <laughs> these are Old Dutch, a Minnesota company, right? Old Dutch. That's correct. Um, this is ketchup flavored potato chips, and apparently ketchup flavor is really big in Canada. Everything is in English and French on this one as well. Schutze Fleur. I should watch my mouth when I'm trying to yeah, read French, Yeah, you got to be careful. Really you might do. actually just swear okay. on TV trying to, let's, let's trying try to sound to, I cool. I want to take a smaller one here. TV All right. eating, right? Isn't that the thing? Yeah, okay. cheers. Um, yeah, currently you can buy these on Amazon, too. I could, look, guys, I guess no surprise. You can buy everything on Amazon. Everything. Um, it's about... It tastes like a ketchup chip. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that either. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. No. It's no. not awful. It's not going to hurt you, but it's just not fantastic. No. I mean, who likes ketchup that much? Canadians. I guess. <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, it really, I okay. will give, I will give them this. Oh, we okay? do napkins. Okay. You guys, Old Dutch, I will give you guys this. You, yeah. na you nailed the taste. If you were to take a regular, right. regular plain potato chip oh. and just kind of lightly dip it in ketchup, mm -hmm. and it really is, that's what it tastes like. And if that's what you're going for, I mean, I guess I'm not going to yuck someone else's yum. I'm sure somebody's going to love this. If you want to go crazy and you want to like crunch some up sure. on a hot dog mm. or something. Oh, that's actually a great idea. Then maybe, but I'm telling you right now, I'm not reaching for handfuls of that. No. Okay. With well, the mm -mm. next one, what is it? It's a corn puff Cheeto. Yeah, this one's Hawkins yeah. Cheesies. Okay. Okay. So this is like a, this is a corn puff, like mm -hmm. a Cheeto. This one is made from real cheddar cheese, or should we say fromage? <laughs> I guess we should. Fromage. Okay. They've been making these in Canada since 1949. So. Okay. Sorry, I just stole that uh -huh. away from you. I will say right now, right now, you guys. Um, oh, it's crunchy. There is a healthy amount of cheddar powder on these. They did not skimp on the powder. Go for it. That's good stuff. Um, that's delicious. It's different than a Cheeto, but very similar. And I do think Cheetos are one of the most perfect foods in the world. Okay. Give me all of those. It's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like last Wait, Sunday, when it Cheeto? was just raining here in the Twin uh -huh. Cities, and we it was like yep. one of those rain days, uh -huh. I could have sat down in front of the TV, I watched the, the, the season finale of Masters mm -hmm. of the Air, mm -hmm. and I could have had a whole bag of those. Oh, with real cheddar cheese. That's your difference. Cheetos are just, you know, that sprayed something 
claiming to be cheese related. I know. What are we doing here, guys? We got to figure this out. If you go okay. to other countries like yeah. Europe, or even when we go to the Bahamas, they make stuff with their sodas real are food. made with real <gasps> sugar. Oh, is that and dessert ours, coming our here way? Here in the states, mm -hmm. it's all this like artificially right. junky gunk. So I don't know. I like that Hawkins cheesy. All right, that, we have yeah. time for dessert. Okay, good. You want to do some dessert? Uh, Tim Tam. Okay, this sounds delightful, doesn't it? Um, they apparently do have this at World Market. You can get it here in the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. Chocolate biscuits, caramel inside. Uh, they've got different flavors, and apparently this is uh, an Australian company. You know, so. why not have an Australian company sell mm -hmm. products in Canada for us to swindle mm -hmm. back here in Keister to the United States? It's the way of the world. What do you think? Is it kind of like a Nutter Butter? Kinda? I was expecting more caramel. It's more of a... Um, it's like more chocolate inside. Yeah. It's tasty. It's very sugary. It's like chocolate on top of chocolate. That's exactly what it is. With a wafer. Mm -hmm. I don't know, wafer. you guys. It's, mm -hmm. it's fine. What would you get out, out, of a, out of 10? Okay, so when I'm eating something like this, I think, do I want to waste my calories on this? Because I know we have delicious pastries coming later. And I'd rather oh, eat a whole well, pastry. Well, see, that's, that's just it, mm -hmm, you guys. Mm -hmm. um, we do have delicious pastries coming later. That, that, I'm going to give that about a four. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I'm give, give me all the Hawkins cheesies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so a big shout out to all the Canadians who watch Twin Cities Live up in Thunder Bay. In I'm, Thunder not, Bay, I'm yeah. not trying to you know, squash anything you guys may love, but you know, I, I can't love everything here. It's okay. We gave it our best. And most of it's wonderful. And if you like potato, or if you like uh, ketchup flavored potato chips. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Um, coming up next, uh, the taste test. We're going to go to this one. This I want a taste test. This is a restaurant created by a pastry artisan. Five times James Beard Award nominee, where you can try them yourself. Coming up.